Boom! Round 4 of the Tri-Nations Rugby. The Wallabies versus the Pumas. Argentina. Let's go! What up people? Welcome back to my channel for more rugby facts, insights and also reviews. This weekend will be a lot of international matches going on uh, with the Autumn's Cup and also the Tri-Nations. I have yet to review any of the Autumn's Cup uh, games but I hope soon. Let's hope. Anyway, the Tri-Nations round 4. Argentina started their campaign with a bang and this week they are facing the Wallabies which also won against the, Le uh, the All Blacks uh, in their last game. Um, let's look at the standings right now. Uh, the All Blacks are at the top of the table with uh, 6 points and 1 game in hand and Argentina and Wallabies have 4 points each. Um, it's still an open wide um, tournament uh, where we can't predict who will win the tournament this year. Now, let's look at the team selection for both teams. For the Wallabies, Dave Rennie did some changes from the last game due to injuries and suspensions. In the front row, we are seeing the experienced Scott Seal together with Brandon and Tupao. What an impact player Tupao gave the Wallabies in the last 10 minutes in the game against the All Blacks. He is such a powerful and impactful player to have in the starting lineup when you see how good Argentina scrum last week. In the locks, we have the veteran Rob Simmons with his 105th test this weekend together with the improving Matt Phillip against Matias Alamano and also Guido Petty. Petty is one of the best lineup disruptors in the world and by ranking he is top 5. And Wallabies will have to be really creative to win their lineup with Petty and Alamano on the other side. Loose forwards for the Wallabies, the team of Hannigan, Hooper and Wilson was really good and really worked together for the first two Wallabies games. But if I want to compare Hannigan and Swinton, Swinton was more robust, more impactful, whereas Hannigan is more timid, but he's a good ball carrier. But what to do? Swinton got a game suspension because of his red card. But looking at Argentina, we have Marcos Kramer, the crazy ice captain, Pablo Matera, yeah, I'm playing for my country. and Rodrigo Bruni. This could be a bloodbath against them as both teams would play their hearts out for this one. Marcos Kramer did 28 tackles last game and like I said last week, Argentina rarely missed a tackle. Captain versus Captain, Hooper versus Matera. Both of them has a never give up attitude and always the hardest worker on the field. This will be an exciting match to watch. The future Western Force Scrum Half, Thomas Q. Belly would go against Nick White at number 9. For me, Nick White should really step his game up playing in his hometown, Newcastle. He is a bit slow in breakdowns and sometimes he takes too long to get the ball out and miss the opportunity to attack. The ever popular number 10 jersey. Wallabies are still sticking with Rhys Hodge. Why not? He led the Wallabies to win against the All Blacks and made 14 tackles. And that goes the same for Nicolas Sanchez who scored all the points last week at 10. Midfielders, what a game Debutant Chocobares had last week. He even outplayed Jack Goodhue. This kid has something special and he can be one of the best midfielders in the world. Chocobares and Orlando will be facing the Queensland's red pair of Jordan Pattaya and Hunter Paisami. Wingers, we have the big Korebate and the young winger Tom Wright against Juan Imhoff and Bautista Delgai. And far at the back, Tom Bang will go against Santiago Carreras. Basically, Mario Ladesma did not change any of his starting lineup from last week. And bear in mind, most of these guys played up to 70 minutes until they were substituted. So they can really play and keep up the intensity. Predictions. Honestly, I have a hard time predicting uh, this game because uh, both of the teams playing the same game uh, against the All Blacks which is tighten the defense, don't miss a tackle and also keep pressuring. But I would give Argentina an upper hand because of Michael Chica in their staff backroom. Michael Chica has been uh, the Wallabies coach for 5 years and most of the players are under him so he might have some trick up his sleeves. 
Wallabies, on the other hand, are starting to get their groove. Their morals are up, they are pumped, and they are playing at home. So that would give them a big advantage. Looking at the historical for the last five games, uh, Wallabies have won the game four times and uh, Argentina once, which was in back in 2018 where they beat the Wallabies in goalposts. My prediction, Argentina would win by three points. So if you are in Malaysia, the game would be at 4.45 and you can watch it at Astro Rugby Pass TV or in the Rugby Pass app. That's all from me. Don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't subscribed, cycle that button hard if you want to know more about rugby facts, insights, and also reviews. Till the next video, boom!